Hi, I'm Dennis Flanagan. I practice general dentistry in the USA. I'm board certified in oral implantology and general dentistry. And I've been involved in dental research for many years. My topic today is zinc phosphate cement used in dental implant supported fixed prostheses. Implant supported dental prostheses can be retained by a retaining screw or by cement. By design, implant supported fixed partial dentures should have a passive fit. So there's no binding of the in, uh, retainer intaglio against the uh, abutment. Any binding will place a constant lateral load on the fixture by the abutment. A passive fit means there's an internal gap between the abutment surface and the intaglio of the retainer. This ensures that there's no lateral pressure on the supporting implant abutments or friction upon seating of the prosthesis. This is especially important for cement retained prostheses. This gap is filled with cement for retention of the prosthesis. Any lateral pressure may cause marginal bone loss. Additionally, there is a microscopic gap at the margin of the crown retainer that may be as much as 250 microns. This gap exposes the cement to oral fluids. A zinc phosphate cement is about 6% soluble. The, sol the solubility of zinc phosphate cement is a definitive liability due to the risk for cement dissolution. Thus, it is possible for cement to dissolve at the margin and for this to continue up between the abutment and the intaglio surface of the retainer. In fixed bridges, the dissolution of the cement under a retainer would remove the retaining um, portion of the uh, abutment and cause a transfer of the occlusal load to any other retained uh, abutment on the, on the bridge. This creates a cantilever. There would be a resulting rotation and levering of the cement retained abutment and fixture from occlusal and parafunctional loading. This in turn would cause micro movement of the fixture in bone and failure of the osseous integration. Subsequent micro hemorrhage could, would occur at the bone fixture interface and then fibrous replacement would occur. So the fixture that lost cement retention would remain integrated, but the cement retained abutment would be overloaded and lose integration and exfoliate. Now in single units, crown loosening probably would only involve re-cementation of that crown. However, that is true if the patient doesn't swallow or aspirate the crown. Thus, zinc phosphate cement may not be a prudent choice for implant supported fixed partial dentures, splints, or crowns. A better choice may be a uh, relatively insoluble cement such as resin modified glass ionomer or resin cement.